You know, finals all over again. And, you know, that, that's what happens in life, though. Sometimes you're faced with a big challenge. You know, you're in a job interview and you get nervous. But you've got to find a way to make it through that interview because you know that you deserve the job. And that's what happened tonight. We found a way to work through that interview because we deserve the job on Saturday. We deserve to be state champions. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong. Um, but that's volleyball. And that's we've been in that situation already. So we... I called that time out and I explained to the girls that volleyball is a game of momentum so it only takes one person to step up one person to go on a service run and we gained a lot of momentum back that first set if we wanted to start it down 15 to 3 we outplayed them from that point on unfortunately we were down 15 to 3 um, but we continued the fight and that's that's the name of the game at this level every point as hard as you can get that's been our motto want the ball to come to you, play confident, and if you do that, good things are going to happen. When you're locked in and you have that lead, you just know that you have to finish, and you just have the feeling that, I mean, anything could happen, but you know when you have that lead, you can feel it, and you know that you just need to finish the game and do what you came for. I mean, it means everything. It means more than anybody even knows, because this town deserves it. These girls deserve it. Everything that's happening right now, they've worked hard for. They've worked hard for this moment way before I was even part of this program. So with that being said, I need to give thank yous out to so many other people, but we deserve it. That's the bottom line. This is our year. Um, I mean, I was feeling pretty good from the beginning. Um, it really started to click the second set after. It was just like on Saturday. It was that first set. It was kind of hard to get going. Everybody was super nervous, and then the second set is definitely when I started to feel it. You know, you start to feel it though at the end of that first set. It looked like you were starting to take over there, even though you did lose that set. Um, yeah. Um, it started to feel better after we started to gain momentum again. Because being down, what was it, 15 to 3? 15 to 3, and then getting to 23 is just a big help, too. I mean, when it was in that second set, we started serving better. In that third set, when it was we were down 20 to 19, you know, we found a way that our serving stepped up. Macy served two aces at the end of that set. To end the fourth set, what did Taylor Paul do? Taylor Paul served some aces. That was the difference maker. Our serving at the end of the game, when it really, really mattered, in the clutch, we came through. The community just come and support us as much. Um, so Saturday is our time to give back to them. They have been here for us this entire year and last year. We couldn't do it without them. The student section did amazing. They're the reason that we're playing this well. They keep our energy high. And you can even hear them saying, like, it's OK, girls, you got this. They're like, they're our seventh man. I mean, everybody stepped up at key points. Obviously, if we have a player like Paige on our team, we are going to set her. Her teammates, like I've been saying all year, are really, really good. But our best option to score every single time is the set page. And when her teammates got set, specifically Taylor Paul, she put the ball away and she was the difference maker. She was what hasn't happened in so many games because she, she hasn't been out there. She hasn't been playing in the front row. So she stepped up, she embraced the opportunity and I'm very, very proud of her along with all of her teammates. Um, it's a feeling that like I can't describe. Like the, our team wants it so bad, our community wants it so bad. So we're just doing it for them and hopefully we can pull it through. Veterans Day, we got a big assembly. Yeah. <laughs> we we got to thank those people that gave us this freedom and this opportunity to be able to play here. So kudos to all those veterans because because of them we are actually here. So we are going to go to school, we're going to wear red, white, and blue, and we're going to be very, very proud of the opportunity that we get to play on Saturday for a state championship.